Hello, everybody. Happy Thursday. I'm Debbie Weidel. Welcome to our Migraine Strategy Call. I am so excited to be here with you today and share one of our Freedom from Migraine Method alumni experiences. So we are here with Jenny today. Jenny, thanks for joining us today. Yeah, thanks for having me. Absolutely. So as we get tech and everything all set up, everybody do me a favor. Give me a quick hello in the Women's Migraine Freedom Group. Let me know that you can see and hear us so we can make sure that we can see your comments as we go through. I would love to make this an interactive time. So any questions that you have for myself or Jenny, just make sure that you comment them below. So Jenny, let's just dive right in so we make sure we have enough time for everything. Before we get started, can you just tell everybody a little bit about yourself so they know who they're listening to today? Yeah. So uh, my name is Jenny. I am a stay-at-home mom. For many years, I was a dental hygienist. And then once I had kids, I decided to stay home. And I have two boys who are both teenagers, so i um, really busy. Um, so while I am a stay-at-home mom, I do have some hobbies that I love, like pickleball. And um, I was suffering from migraines probably since I was in my late teens. And um, I had to stop playing pickleball. I had to stop making plans. I had to stop a lot of things. And so when I found this program, I was able to live. It was, it's been amazing. So that's just a short it. recap. I love it. Yeah. We were just chatting about pickleball before we jumped on and how much fun it is. So if anybody's watching and you play pickleball, let us know in the comments. Um, it's amazing how much it has grown over what I don't even know when it was started, but I think the last 10 years is when I first, you know, had my first experience with pickleball and it's amazing that it's everywhere now. Um, hey, Kathy and Kimberly and Diane, thanks for jumping on ladies. So I thank you for sharing your story. And I know you, as well as most of the women that are in this group, this is something I hear every day. If I had a dollar for every time I heard this, I've tried it all. I've tried so many things to end my migraines. And some of the things that I've tried are even things that you say that are in your protocol. So why do you feel that freedom from migraine method was different and helped you find your migraine freedom compared to other things that you've done before? Well, uh, what I would say is I did try a lot of things. Um, one thing that I didn't do was I, um, I didn't try a lot of the medications and the Botox. Mm -hmm. um, I was at that point though, and I had tried acupuncture and chiropractic and every single supplement and ice hats and everything you can think of. Um, and so when I found this program, I, I actually, um, listened to an interview of a graduate and she had been on so many medications and I, I heard what she went through and I was like, well, if she had success and she was on all these medications, I can too. And so as I dove into this program, um, I had done some things, but mm -hmm. not, I didn't know how to put it together. And so your, your method really teaches you how to combine all these things together. And the thing that's amazing is you tailor it to us. And that's what I feel like is so different from other programs. So other programs, they say, do this, do this, do this. But you're like, but how? Or I tried it and it worked for like a week mm -hmm. and then it's not working anymore. And they don't tell you all the tweaks, you know, all the things you can do. And so your program does that. So. And the other thing that is I, that I love about your program is the support group of all the women. Um, I remember my first Zoom, uh, there was a woman on there with an ice hat, sunglasses, barely there. And it was amazing to see the progress of her and some of the others. You see the success of others and yourself. And that just helps you on your journey and how you tweak everything for every woman. And then you, and it works. I, it's been amazing. Yeah. And I think that is and the key, right? I, I talked to somebody this week who said to me, you know, well, I gave up sugar for two weeks and nothing happened. And I've given up sugar before and nothing happened, you know? And as you mentioned, it's, it's going back and taking a look. Okay. Well, you gave up sugar, but what else do we need to add to that? What other piece needs to go along with that? Cause just giving up sugar or, just exercising or just sleeping well isn't going to work. But when you intertwine all those and figure out what's right for you, 
and the whole world opens up, you know, yeah. and, you know, maybe one person can get away with eating some sugar every day and maybe somebody else can't. So it's really important to find out where you fit into that so that you don't feel this restricted life, right? Who wants to give everything up? Nobody wants yeah. to give everything up. We would, right? If we knew that that was what was going to give us our migraine freedom, but we don't have to do it. Why should we? You right. know, and that, that kind of leads me into the next thing because all of this has so much more to do with mindfulness. I think sometimes than the actual act of giving up the food, right? You know, mindfulness, mindset, kind of the new buzzword out there. How does your experience in the Freedom from Migraine Method with this, you know, how did that kind of bring you to where you are and why was it important for you to have that piece? Well, I think like what you just mentioned, there's so many pieces to the puzzle. And a lot of times when you're trying something, you try it and it works for a week. And then you're like, I did that. You know, it didn't yeah. work. Well, there's so many pieces and mindfulness is such a huge piece. And I feel like um, we don't spend enough time in awareness to really see what we're doing and why we're doing and how it's actually affecting us. And not only does your program really focus on how to do that and to really talk about things that go beyond migraines but it actually has a direct effect to migraines, right? Mm -hmm. Is we know that stress is is such a key factor. And, um, but not only is it like an awareness of maybe why we're reaching for sugar or why we feel a certain way or why we should have boundaries. Like it just, there's so much to it, but it's also this mindfulness of how to deal with the pain while we're in it and how to ground ourselves and how to breathe and how those simple things really makes such a difference and it just makes a difference while you're having a migraine but it, it helps prevent migraines and it helps you throughout the day like it's just amazing and so your program really opens our eyes to um this awareness in ourselves that's amazing and so not only do you have hydration and nutrition and sleep and things like that but you have mindfulness that a lot of programs they're missing they're missing these links and you've really learned to put it together. And so it's it's been awesome even just learning about myself. So not only are my migraines better, but other issues that I've um, had to manage, whether it's anxiety or or whatever it is. So it's been um, the all these little pieces you've learned to put together. This program, it really does change everything. I love that. And we talk a lot about in the program how we really are our focus, even though, yes, we want you to have migraine freedom. Yes, that's what our course is. The real, the focus is reducing the chronic inflammation so that your overall health and wellness is so much better, leading you into a future of a happy, healthy life versus this future of, okay, I had migraines. Now I have autoimmunity. Now I've got to worry about all these other health conditions. So you kind of just hit on it a little bit there at the end, but besides migraines, how is your overall health now and how do you feel? So my overall health is, it wasn't bad to begin with, but it's just drastically better. So, you mm -hmm. know, I just, um, I was pretty healthy coming into the program, eating clean and things like that. So I felt like, well, what else can I do? Um, but it was, it was putting it all together. So even still for me, um, like I had some adult acne and had acne as a kid, um, I have asthma, you know, all of those are really inflammation based um, ailments. And um, I have anxiety a little bit. I mean, who doesn't? Life's crazy. But just going <laughs> yeah. through this program, like all those things are drastically better. And it's this awareness, even as I move forward. So when I first got in migraines, I was late teens, early 20s. And then mm -hmm. I had kids and I was, was worried about migraines when I was pregnant. And as I got older and my cycle and my migraines were just crazy with my cycle, like nothing, nothing touched it, you know, mm -hmm. nothing helped. I was in bed. It was over. Um, yep. And so then I was really worried about menopause. You know, I was like, well, what's going to happen when I hit menopause? This is, you know, my mom had a real hard time. And so I love how this program has addressed HRT and menopause and what's what to expect and things like that. And so now um, I'm in my early 40s. And I know those years are coming and I'm not afraid, you know, I know I have tools for 
for what I might face and how to help myself. And so I feel really encouraged. And that's what the program has done. I love that because, you know, so many people are petrified of that perimenopause, menopause. It's either they're holding on to that hope because they heard like one doctor say, oh, it's okay. When you get through menopause, your migraines will be gone. We know those are rare unicorns, right? You know, I mean, I talk to thousands of women every single month. We have over 5,000 in the group and we know that that's rare, but it is a truthful fear of, okay, what is going to happen? You know, what is going to happen to my migraines? Am I going to have to live 10 years in perimenopause with them increasing? And that is the typical age that a lot of women end up coming to me is at that age because the implication of you know, menopause coming, it does give you a little uptick, but it doesn't have to. It doesn't have to. So I like that you bring that up so that everyone can have a little hope and faith. And you have a whole bunch of people popping on. Hey, Ashley and Brenda and Stacy. Hello, my friend Jeannie and Diane. Thanks everyone for being here today. Again, if you have any questions for Jenny or myself, go ahead and drop those in chat and we will make sure that we keep an eye on that throughout the, the week or so to make sure you have all of your questions answered. Um, all right, so Jenny, you have a captive audience, obviously, with a bunch of women listening and watching right now. And I know that most of them are either one, still scared, you know, because they really don't think there's a way to end their migraines, or two, they're like, I really wanna believe, I really do, but I'm really skeptical because I, most of these women have tried it all. You know, when they say they've tried it all, I get this list <laughs> this long with a huge dollar sign at the end. So what would you say to those women who are just really struggling out there? Well, one of the things I would say is this program helps you. Well, a lot of the things that we're doing or the medications you're taking, it's just to manage what's happening and it's to manage your pain just so you can get through so you can go pick up the kids from school so you can just do daily things. But what Debbie's program, what FFM, um, the method teaches you is it gets to the root of the problem. So a lot of the tools that I've learned, I'm not waiting for the migraine to come and then managing the pain. I, if, if I feel, well, first of all, I can even prevent them from even happening. But if I, if I do get a migraine, I'm not freaking out because I have tools that I can lower my migraines and it's so empowering. And so what I would say is this program doesn't teach you to manage. It really gets to the root of the problem and you really feel empowered that you, you have something you can do, but on, on a flip side, um, I, you know, it, it's always hard when you're diving into a new program. Um, mm -hmm. I would say I had the support of my husband, especially, but I think it's because my migraines affect him. So yeah. when I'm out, guess who's picking up the slack? My husband <laughs> is. And so, you know, my kids know, oh, mom's in bed, get her her ice hat, get her essential oils, leave her alone, turn off the lights. You know, they know all that. So it affects the whole family. And so I feel like when you think about a program like this, you're not just helping yourself. You're helping every single person around you. And my husband, my parents, because I guess who I call, I call my parents, you know, when mm -hmm. I can't do something. And so they've all noticed such a huge difference. Um, like, hey, Jenny's around. She's not canceling plans. <laughs> She's at all the football games, you know. Um, I'm able to play pickleball without migraines every single day. And that's my passion. Um, I had to quit playing tournaments because I couldn't even finish a tournament. So I had to quit playing. And so now it's not even, it doesn't even cross my mind. Like I can start playing tournaments again. And so I feel like my life is back. And so I feel like when you kind of reach rock bottom, sort of say, you mm -hmm. want to try anything. Like I was willing to try anything. Um, even though I wasn't on medications, that was the next door. I was taking so much Excedrin, like my liver enzymes were being elevated and I was scared. I was like, what yeah. is happening? And so I was desperate and willing to try anything. So I would say whatever, however much you put in, you will get out. And so I put a lot in and I, I'm healing, I'm happy. Um, it's been life-changing. So if, I, if you're on the fence, do it, 
do it. You will kick yourself for waiting for so long. <laughs> it's been amazing. I love that. And I, I wish, I say this all the time, but I wish I could have a photo of you when I first met you and a photo of you now, because man, what a difference. What a difference. And I know migraine isn't something that you can see physically like a broken arm or a scar, but you can see it. You can see it in someone's eyes. You can see it in how they hold themselves up. And you're just so happy. You're just so yeah. happy. Well, I, but not, see, the thing that's amazing about your program is not only do I not have migraines or head pressure every single day, but I don't have brain fog. I have energy. Like it literally affects your whole life. It's, it's awesome. <laughs> you need it for I, those two I, boys, right? I do. <laughs> and the football <laughs> games and, and yes. the tournaments you're going to go back to. And yeah, even though you're a stay at home mom, I swear stay at home moms are busier than working moms. It's no joke. Yeah. No joke yeah. at all. Yeah. Well, Jenny, thank you so much for being here today and sharing your story with everyone. I really appreciate your time. And I know, as you said to me, it made a difference to you when you were able to hear other women's stories and know that this is something that can give you hope and give your life back. So I appreciate you turning around and giving that gift to somebody else. Well, thank you for having me. I really believe in this because it's helped me in such a dramatic way that I wish I could shout it from the roof, rooftops. And so this, this is my opportunity. So thank you for I'm, having me. Absolutely. I was going to say you just did shout it and we greatly appreciate that. All right, ladies, for everyone watching, and people are still popping on, hey, Barbie. So next week, our migraine strategy call is going to be back to our normal time. We will be meeting Thursday at 1.30 p.m. Eastern. Barbara, who is also a graduate of the Freedom from Migraine Method Complete Program, she will be joining us to share her journey. I think she's been graduated for over four or five months now. So it'll be nice for you to hear from someone who's hasn't been working with us for a while and how things are still going. So I'm super excited about that. And also want to remind you of our holiday special bonuses that we have released this week. They are limited in numbers. I know a few people have already taken advantage. Holiday offer number one, there's only 10. And I think a couple of those are already gone. And holiday offer number two, we have four. So if you have not seen those, please comment holiday below. And Valentina or Kathy will make sure that you get that information. And if you would like to join us next week and want to make sure that you are reminded of next week's call, comment Barbara below, and we will make sure that we get you that information as well. All right, everybody, have an amazing day. Here is to your migraine freedom. Jenny, thanks again. And we'll see you in the group, everybody. Bye-bye.